now for another instalment of our road trip around the Malaysian Peninsula. Good morning, don't forget to follow this channel and don't forget to watch our documentaries about Johor. Not forgetting to order a copy of Helen's book and historical walking tour of Johor Bahru. Just head to the pages shop. Today we're going to Sungai Batu where we can find the ruins of an ancient settlement going back 2,000 years and more. This is reputedly the site of the oldest civilization in Southeast Asia. This place is the southernmost tip of the Bujang Valley civilization, which we met earlier on in our tour, and uh, dates to around 535 BC. It was once a thriving international entrepot, and there are signs of iron smelting going on. Archaeologists have unearthed merchant ships that they believe to have been buried here for 4,000 years. Unbelievable. And this place is in fact older than Angkor Wat and Borobudur. Now it doesn't look much but imagine what would have happened to those places if they had been left to decay in the jungle for a further 500 years. It would have had streets, temples, factories, workshops and markets. Uh, you can just about see some of the outlines of perhaps a pavement, a wall here, there, uh, a temple, um, but it's, it's hard to make much sense of it at the moment. In its later stages, it became under the power of the Srivijaya Empire, and the Malay annals say that the area was then overrun by Chola princes from East India. And of course, there's always that debate about just how Malay they were. But that's like asking how English the ancient British were. Though I'm related to them, a lot of time has passed since they were running the British Isles and painting themselves blue. Since then, we've had Romans, Saxons, Vikings and a whole bunch of others poured into the mix. Similarly with the Malay. They had the Arang, Asli tribes, early Polynesians, Indians, Chinese, Khmer, Arabs, all adding to the mix. One thing is certain, the history of the region still has lots of surprises to be discovered. Right, we got all hot and bothered uh, trying to find this rock. We had to walk up the wrong side of the motorway, cross over into a church, struggle across the church grounds, and here it is. We finally got there, and it's a piece of archaeological evidence of the southernmost extent of the Bujang Valley culture. And Captain James Lowe in 1845 uh, found it and discovered that there were ancient texts scrawled upon it in some form or other and it was later translated as I acknowledge the enemies of the contented King Rama Niba and the wicked are ever afflicted. Uh, this is said by Manikata, the protector of all great Buddhas, which is just the thing you write on a rock, won't you? And it goes on to say, in every form of life, knowledge becomes manifest everywhere and in every way and karma, which sports with passion, is the cause of transmigration. There you have it. Um, other people have um, had other ideas of the sort of thing to write on the rock. As you can see, somewhere in the dark, it says Henry. Over here, LKL. These are probably British troops at one time or other. And HCH something's CHY. We hate to think what he means by that. Atmosphere, you know, like at school, not at my school. Oh, come on. You must have had secret. No, it's not my pub. If you want it stopped, you'll have to come. Right, get here. Hooray! Hey! Welcome, Martin, to the Black and Throttle. Pleasure to see you here, Captain. An honour, Captain. A real honour. What's going on? I mentioned you were coming down, and well, everyone was very excited. Well, 
I hope you told them why I was coming to Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's a proper club, isn't it? Yeah. It's all very well having the first officer down here, but the captain, captain, that's different. Welcome to the happiest town in Malaysia, Taiping, the town of heavenly peace. Taiping is a Chinese name which does indicate that this is a town built by the Chinese. It was a mining town where the Qi Hing and the Heisang Kongxi, that is, business associations, fought for possession. More of that in tomorrow's episode of Malaysian Road Trip. So please subscribe to this channel so that you can see what happens next at facebook.com slash Lawrence and Helen.